Everybody, welcome back to Building Little. We finally get to start some exciting process of this tiny trailer build. I have a small confession to make. I've made some changes in my design plan. Instead of doing a teardrop small little style trailer, I'm going to build a still a teardrop style, but it's going to be bigger. It's going to have a taller door so you can stand up inside of it rather than just having to climb in. I think it'll be a lot more comfortable and just be more user friendly. Not so, uh, I got some plywood, I got some styrofoam, I got some insulation, some uh, things I need to get this whole thing started and see how far I get. All right, let's get going. So if you're following along at home and you want to do something like this yourself, this is a very basic setup. I've seen a few different videos where they've done something like this. They got a two by four frame laid on its flat. You frame it all out, get it all screwed together, and you put a layer of plywood down, glue it down, PL glue, some sort of construction adhesive, and get it all glued, glued and screwed and stapled, whatever you need to do to get it all tight together. And then you flip the whole thing over, put some styrofoam insulation in between all the gaps, and uh, do another layer of plywood over top so you have a nice thick solid floor. So I've already gone ahead and pre-cut all my pieces so that they're ready to go, so I don't have to bore you with all the cutting pieces. And uh, so I'm just going to assemble it now and get it looking like a frame, see where, it, see how it goes. Okay, the frames together. One side is done. I'm going to flip it over, fill it full of insulation, put another layer of plywood over, and then I'm ready to seal it.
try. Not too bad. Hey, let's get this wood cut. I'm gonna stagger these joints because the other side I got the butt joint right there. The plywood. And this one I'm gonna run this way. So if there's a little bit more strength than that, not that it needs it, but it doesn't hurt to have anyway. So I'm gonna get my pieces glued up and start nailing down. Get it up there to test it. I gotta seal it. All right, that'll be fun. Okay, let's see if I can do this by myself or if I'm gonna have to find help. Some reinforcements underneath a little bit, but there we go. Welcome to the shop. It got cold outside, so we moved the floor inside so I can do the whole waterproofing stuff. This is a rubberized water sealant, waterproof sealant. So I'm going to give this whole thing a good coat over so that it's when it's flipped over, and this is the bottom of the floor, it can be nice and sealed up and good to go. This is what I've seen on a few different other trailer builds and it seems to work really well so let's give it a try. There we go, that is one thick coat put on. So while this was drying, it's drying up really nice. I'm actually really happy with it. All the joints seem awesome. I think it'll work really, really well. I was outside adding some more support in the centers. So I got a cross piece there and a cross piece the other way. Another one up here. Next steps, moving forward, replacing this janky old jack putting a nice new one up that can fold away when being towed so it doesn't drag the ground if anybody's got a low vehicle towing it or whatever the case may be so let's get this ugly old thing off and get that new one on
it's all done. Got it all welded up, painted, and installed. So next step is to get this floor on here and bolt it on. Let's do that. There we go. Got the floor on, had to get some help. It's the next day, obviously, because I had to wait for the paint to dry. It's really windy out here today, so I hope you can hear me okay. I'm going to quickly go ahead and drill some holes and get this bolted down so that that part can be done. I was hoping to get some more stuff done with this video, but I think after this is going to have to be it. I'm still waiting on some parts before I can get started on the walls, but that's going to come real soon. I've got basically one more thing waiting for it, and then I can get started on that. So, uh... Yeah, let's get these holes drilled and get this bolted down. Okay, that's it. Try to get a next episode out as soon as I can. Unfortunately, it just is what it is with timing with things. I got a full-time job as well, so this is just a side thing. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you subscribed, if you haven't, please subscribe. Like the video. If you don't like it, please tell me why so I can improve. I'd love to make some good content and make it enjoyable for you guys. So hopefully. I will have a next episode out soon. Otherwise, take care.